Hello, my name is Kevin Jones. I'd like to welcome you to Reformation and Revival Now. We are going to continue on our series done by Dr. Jerry Dotson, which is titled Lessons in Prophetic Preaching. We want this to be educational, to give you a chance as a student to be able to see how God can use a minister prophetically. Now, this is not prophecy. This is prophetic preaching. In other words, this is inspiration that the Spirit gives the minister, insights that only the Spirit can give. And the number one thing that Pastor Dotson does, he gives himself to preparation. Pastor Dotson may prepare several days before he preaches a message if it's available. Not so that he can preach a good sermon, but so that when he steps to that pulpit, the, the Holy Spirit can access him. So anyway, I'll be freezing some of those frames and making some points there, which you'll see. And I would like for you to learn from, from these things. Never be determined to preach a message. Always give the floor, floor to the Holy Spirit to share the things that are on his heart because he has the keys to the souls of men and women. And if we'll listen to him, God can do mighty things in our ministry. Well, anyway, you'll see for yourself as we go through this message. So prepare now to receive the word of the Lord. Have faith in God. Whosoever. Are you a whosoever? Yeah. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be cast into the sea. Whosoever shall speak to your eyes and say, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And believe in his heart. And not doubt. And not doubt. Whosoever would speak over their bank account and say that God is blessing and I'm having all the finances I need and I'm becoming a bigger giver than I've ever been before and I'll be the biggest giver in my church. And believe in his heart and not doubt. And not doubt. And is this what he's saying? When they're calling you up and they're saying, you haven't made the car payment and we're going to come to get your car, that's a mountain. And whosoever speaks into that mountain and says, listen to me. I'm not going to talk to the bank like this. I mean, you, this conversation is between you and the enemy that's telling you that you're losing everything you've got. And you say, listen to me, Satan. Come on. The word of God says that I can speak to a mountain and today you're a mountain in front of me and I command you to leave. And the problem over the years, we have stopped moving mountains and tried to figure out how to climb mountains. Oh. We've never been called to climb a mountain. We've been told to move the mountain. Don't yes. try to climb the mountain. Don't figure out how you're going to make it work. Don't figure out how you're going to get through that. Tell that thing to get out of the way and move it. That's what the word says. And that's where your miracle is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's where your miracle is. Stop trying to climb mountains. If I can just hold on a few more days. If I could just get somebody to pay what they owe me. If I could just find the money. The doctor said I could have this, 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 this surgery. Or the doctor said this thing might work. Or that might work. Or they're going to try something else. Let me give you something to try. Speak the word of God into your situation. And begin to believe God. And tell that mountain to move. Amen. You are a mountain mover, not a mountain climber. Yes. <laughs> mountain movers, not mountain climbers. I stood up in front of my church one day and I said, I'm going to be honest with you. If we never took another offering, <laughs> we'd be good. And oh, I was wanting to dance out of my, I, I just want to dance out of my shoes. I hope you have that experience one day. I hope you have that experience one day. And I said, folks, if we never took another offering, we'd be all right. 
God has blessed us. God has put so much into us. We are not even able to give away faster than it comes in. And I took up an offering. I wish all of those old skeptics from the past could have been there. Probably the best offering I ever received. Let me tell you why. People want to plant seed in soil where God is blessing. Yes. If you find where God is blessing you, he's obviously blessing you. I've been coming in and out of this church for three or four years now. He's blessing you. If you will begin to plant seed where God is blessing and sow where he's blessing, you will see that seed come back. Well, there's a thing about planting seed, and we're not going to go into that tonight. But for 1995, I'll sell you a book. <laughs> not really. I, I don't have a book. It just seemed like a good thing to say. <laughs> I ran across a book not long ago. I wish I could remember the name of it. It was one of the best books I've ever read on giving. And uh, by the way, it was free, I think. I, I didn't have to buy it. It was free. It was a free download on the internet. It was one of the best teachings I've ever seen on giving and the four types of giving and why some giving brings a return and some doesn't. If you really need that book, hopefully I'll remember it before I leave. <laughs> but here's what I want you to go home with tonight. There's miracles in this house and there's miracles in your house. Amen. 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 The miracle begins first when you plant a seed. And that seed can simply be your word coming into agreement with God's word. The Bible says the sower went out to sow. What was he sowing? He sowed words. That's what he was supposed to say. The seed was the word. He's sowing words. And he said, some of that seed fell on good ground, and some of it didn't. Some fell among thorns. You know, people that always complain. Nobody here ever complains, right? <laughs> <laughs> that may be part of your problem. <laughs>
and they believed in the heart and they refused to doubt and the mountains shake and the mountains quake and the mountains move and miracles happen miracles happen you see the strangest thing in Christianity today is not miracles it's the lack of miracles that we see because all of heaven and all of earth has lined up that God would present, prevent, uh, present whatever miracle that you need and that miracle is in your mouth When God created, we're going to talk about some of this this week. When God spoke <clears throat> in Genesis and he said, everything he created, he created and he put within it a seed. Everything begins with a seed. Now, I know that being around church all these years as you have, we often hear things about seed and we're told that seed means money, but money's not the only seed. That's right. Your words are seeds. Right. And what words are we planning? What words are we planning? What words are we speaking? What, what are we saying every day? Does our words line up with his word? Miracles are released when my words agree with his words. Amen. Because his words are powerful. Yes. Amen. His words are life. And when I began to line myself up with what he said, and I began to believe in my heart, and I refused to doubt. Oh, yeah. You say, but how do I get over that doubt? Well, there was a man in the Bible that asked Jesus that one time, and he said, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That's how you get over it. You say, Lord, I really, I'm believing. I really believe the Bible's true. I really believe this, Lord. I, I'm, I'm having some struggle applying it to me and believing it with me. But, Lord, I know that your word is powerful. Your word is more powerful than I am. So, Lord, help my unbelief as I'm trying to line up with what your word says. Stop being a mountain climber. If I can just make it a few more days. If I could have a yard sale, maybe I would have enough money. We don't have to do that. If we could just learn to trust in God, if we would just learn to apply what the Word says, this is how you do that, okay? Now, this is a confidence that I have in Him. That if I ask anything according to His Word, he hears me. And if he hears me, he will do whatsoever I have asked. That sounds real simple. The struggle is me. This is how we overcome that. What am I saying, Lord? What am I saying about my situation? Am I talking about how bad my situation is or am I talking about what your word says about my situation and how your word would completely Amen. dissolve my situation if I just line up with your word and only believe? Could it really be that simple? The Bible says it is so simple that a child doesn't have it. Amen.